Okay, we gotta figure this out. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh, there's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, look at them all in here, Pete. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. What an awesome looking, weird looking, crazy looking fish. He's yours. Oh, are you kidding me? How do you get these things in a friggin' net? Wow. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin Pan Optics, all seeing sonar. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. For this week's episode, Pete and I hit the road toward our nation's capital, once again dropping the Princecraft FNC into the Ottawa River. This time though, in search of a Fishing Canada first. In around Ottawa, we have an amazing fishery. There's trophy smallmouth bass, as you can see by the tournament trail that comes through here. Within an hour, there's trout fishing. There's amazing northern pike fishing. There's a world-class muskie fishery. Got her! Oh, oh big, big fish, fish, big fish. Whoa, going up east. And what the people don't know, there's amazing carp and also the mighty long nose gar. That's what we're after. And as a couple of gar fishing rookies, we've enlisted the aid of an experienced pro. I got into gar fishing about 10 years ago. It uh, became my favorite frustration. You know, you'd see them cruising around while fishing for bass or casting for muskie, and uh, they'd sometimes follow your lures. So it uh, became my obsession to try to find them and catch them. It took a couple of years to figure out the right system in the right areas. Right there, yeah. But uh, yeah. you know, now we consistently can put fish in the boat, especially when conditions are right like this. While conditions might be right, but we're still forewarned that landing one of these weird looking beasts will be nothing short of impossible. We're gonna have to dig deep into our goodie box and use every trick in the book to figure out these toothy critters. See, that would work great, but how do you put a hook on that? Little treble hook. You guys gonna, gonna catch on everything though. Catching every weed out there. Pretty much. Problem is, they'll hit it this way. You can't, you can't get a hook into it. You need a little wee tiny treble that kind of gets all messed up in that snout somehow. Yeah. So you put a regular treble on, the, 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 the won't chances... It penetrate, right? It won't penetrate. Chances of getting that to dig in is slim to none. But you know those little tiny stinger hooks? Do we have those? Got a ton of them. So if we take that, run that through the bait somehow, we might do it. Maybe. It's a possibility. We're certainly going to try it. It's good to target different species. I think, you know, gar really brings a technical aspect in terms of casting. You have to be able to cast in the right spot. So I think even for a bass angler, flipping pockets, it's pretty similar. You, ha you have to put your bait in the right spot. And when you're due, you're often rewarded. No, he doesn't even have it. Does he? I got it somehow, I yes, got Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, buddy. Uh, that is awesome. Hey, God, let me get the net. Yeah, we got a net. I don't even know if he's got a hook on a man. I think he's got the line around his just... beak. Look at, well, he might have that little stinger on him. I don't know. What a cool looking fish. That is neat. Like he's going to get away. You guarantee you this guy's going to. You don't have a hook in him. I might have to stick. Oh, there oh, he goes. I don't think he had a hook. I don't think I did either. I think it was last one around. Just, him. just, oh, my God. That was user error for sure. I didn't have my stinger on properly. I was just playing around, but now I'll try and figure a better way. If I can put that stinger on there. The thing is, they're so the mouth is so hard, just solid bone, yeah. multitude, like hundreds of little razor sharp teeth. And 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 when they grab your bait, first of all, they're locked in on it. So when you set the hook, you're not pulling the bait into the fish. Stay, 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 stay. You got him. Stay, stay, stay. Oh. oh. This may be the most frustrating fishing ever. So you gotta hope that on that first strike, there's some part of the hook that's gonna get kind of tangled oh, yeah. up in the teeth. You had him. What is it with these things? Because otherwise, you, you don't stand a chance. You on there? <laughs> Dad, that's gonna be crazy. He had the stinger. That's gonna be crazy. Didn't get it in him. 
So everything I've got going here is not good. <laughs> got braid and a stiff rod on a tiny hook. So I have to change that. I'm serious. I got to change this. We're just playing around. Right now we're just trying to figure things out. <laughs> He's a big one. He's odd. Look at look at the size of him. Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> nice. Oh! <laughs> that thing was a monster. Okay, we got to figure this out. <sighs> don't get off. Don't get off. Holy lord! Don't get off. I, oh no 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 no! Holy lord, buddy! No 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 no! This thing is massive. You never know when you're out here what you're gonna see and, and how big they are, but uh, fish in the Ottawa River over 50 inches are common. We see them every week. It's just a matter of getting your bait in the right spot and having everything come together. Got him. Are you on there? Yeah, he's on. Yeah, but oh, look at the size of your feet. Holy <laughs> Martin, it's, make sure your drag is set loose, okay? Yeah, it's loose. Make sure you're set. Oh my God, that is a monster. Don't get off, yeah, don't get off. Holy Lord, Ange. That's beautiful. Oh my God, hang on. Don't get off. Gonna, oh, look at that, just, just that little the, hook is in it. Okay, can you pull him in the net? I'm gonna I, try. I, oh, no, 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 no. Holy Lord, buddy. No, 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 no. This thing is massive. I don't want to scoop him until he's close to me. Oh, my mind broke out. Oh. <laughs> they don't fit in the net. They wouldn't fit in the freaking net. Your line broke. Yeah, my line broke. Oh my God. Did you see the size of that? I think people do think gar fishing is frustrating because when you're out in the right spots, you're in the shallows on a nice, hot, sunny day, you do see fish all over the place. Look at him. He's huge right that's, here. That's a big. That's a big beast. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. Oh my God, they're filthy in here. And the amount of fish that you do hook compared to the ones that do hit the net for a photo, are uh, there's a little bit of difference there. He cut through that like nothing. He cut through it. Oh I didn't. My I, God. I think you know what? I think he was about here. You got to get him right straight in. Nose in. Almost get that hole. There's nose right out of that hole. That's what we got to do. That fish was huge. I thought you had him in the net. <laughs> He was, and then he just turned and, then, and he broke his string. Did you see the size of that oh thing? Oh my God, I don't know how they are in pounds, but that thing was a friggin' monster. Wow. I, oh my God, well, we got, we've seen two or three of them in here like that, so we got our work cut out this for us. This is so a nice little bait. We gotta catch one of them suckers. <laughs> Buddy, that's fun. That's caught, that fish is like as good as caught. This is such a new fishery. I mean, it, if we sound like we don't know what we're doing, it's because we don't know what we're doing. This is all brand new to us. In fact, yeah. I don't think we've ever targeted gar pike nope. before. Landing gar, um, most people have the most difficulty with that. Oh, oh that is a man. Cool looking fish, man. Wow. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, he's off. He's off. My biggest um, trick when it comes to landing gar is don't take a lot of time. Just get them on the hook and as quickly as possible get them in the net. Don't let them jump and roll and all that stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's when things go wrong. That's when lines snap, fish gets tangled, and, and uh, hearts are broken. Okay, so you gotta bring him into this net, and then, yeah. and, oh, oh, gone? There he is. Oh. <laughs> you got him! Oh. You know, like, <laughs> almost had him. Oh, that would've been the that would've been the easiest net job. Yeah. Oh my God, these <laughs> things are nuts. They are. Like, how the heck? Coming in, dude. He's yours. Oh, you! No, oh, he's not! <laughs> How do you get these things in the net? Okay, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way of doing this, okay? Uh, oh, he's got it in his mouth. He's got it, he's in there. Oh, he's got weeds now. That's okay. Still on? I think he's on. But he's a good fish. He's I think not, he's on. Not a super giant, but he's a good one. <laughs> Look at the mouth open to go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, he's, He's Holy fat, he's not. Drag, man. He, Holy yeah. Mackerel. Well, he's a freaking big fish, man. So, we're gonna try and go nose right into the center of the net, okay? And just leave the drag loose like that so he doesn't break the yeah. hook, right? So he doesn't pull the hook. Here we go. Uh, that's awesome. Watch those pads, buddy. I know you can't help it, but with spinning gear, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, good. He cleared himself. Come so, when he goes here. in, you gotta. 
Coming in, dear. Okay, straight into the net and then let him loose. Okay, loose. loose. He's yours. Oh, you no, he's still hitting me. <laughs> How do you get these things in the freaking net? <laughs> okay, there's got to be there's got to be a way of doing this. Okay. Uh, there, that fish is longer than this net by a by a long shot, and it's not a big one. I got to get that beak through the hole, okay. through the hole in right. the net. All right. Bring him fast. He's yours. Got yes! you, bugger. I got you, bugger. <laughs> Did your line? Oh, your line's out too. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's. It. See that? I got the beak through the net. Look at this. <laughs> you got to get that thing through a hole to give you an extra 10 or 12 inches. Okay. Now, do we have gloves in the boat? Let's get these puppies on. That a boy. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Now, the reason we brought these gloves, I got to tell you a little experience. My dad and I went walleye fishing one time, and oh, don't touch that finger then. And uh, dad got a, a gar, and I said, oh, stay away from his teeth, completely stay away from his teeth, thinking everything is safe. I grabbed the back of him like a pike you would do with a pike or walleye. One of his scales cut me, because they're so, such an armor plate of fish. I was infected for a month after that, and I normally heal up in a week. That's how much th these things are dangerous, so, okay. <laughs> They're prehistoric fish. They were around uh, when the dinosaurs were here. They're uh, not your average um, fish that you do see on a regular basis. They have a big long snout, lots of nasty teeth. You really got to watch yourself. <laughs> Look at that. That is so neat. That Those is... scales are hard. Oh, buddy. They will Man, cut you. They're like steel. They will slice you open. Can you open his mouth? Yeah, okay. Seriously, just, just to show those teeth, because that is remarkable. Those were all teeth. And and that, that upper and lower is just solid bone, so it's just impossible to get a hook into this fish. You're hanging on a snake is what it looks like. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> good, good release too, buddy. God. Look at him. Oh man. That is awesome. That neat. And it's what you know the best part is, the, is how long it takes you to get one in the to boat. get in. How many fish have we had on? Ten so far. We just got here, right? Ten in this yeah. little bay. Yeah. To get one in. Yep. Wow. Okay, we're on. We're working on ten percent. That's good. Okay. Well, nice. No hook set at all. No. None. Just, just start. You just start dragging it in. Just start reeling. And and eventually, I think what happens as you're dragging it in, because it's not thrashing. Yeah. A hook gets buried uh, in in behind one of the teeth or something. I don't know. But you saw. I mean, that came out as soon as we got a net. The bait came out again, yeah, right? Yeah. So as soon as the pressure's off. Yep. Yes. 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 That's a beauty. Yeah, he's a pretty good one. That's a beauty. Okay, now we'll see how good I am at netting. <laughs> oh, here he goes. No. So I think one of the keys to this is is really loose drag. They're gonna run. Just let them run because these Let's hooks go. are so small. Exactly. These trailer hooks. Jamie's just get them in fast, but you don't want to. I don't know how you're gonna do that <laughs> without pulling the hook out of them. I know. Right? Here he goes. There we go. That's how you net them. Oh, Boy, here. he's heavy. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's deceiving. I know, they're really deceiving. <laughs> oh man. What a monster. Sure. Bye bye. <laughs> you can't hang on to them. And watching him chase your bait is just, man, talk about an adrenaline rush. Got him. To get to today's great gar fishing, we first drove east on Highway 401. We turned north on Highway 416 and then west on 417. We next headed north on Road 49, then northeast on Solon Road, and finally left on Leggett Drive, taking us to our outstanding accommodations at the Brook Street Hotel and Resort. To have a place that is this luxurious and yet affordable is rare these days. With a perfectly manicured 18-hole championship golf course on the Brook Street property, this is a perfect place to put together a great golfing and fishing getaway. By the way, the hotel is only minutes from the boat launch on the Ottawa River. We're out here in the, the wilderness, so to speak, catching great fish, but at the end of the day, it's nice to sleep in a comfy bed and, uh, you know, once your arms are a little bit sore, sit in the hot tub or grab a swim. So it's uh, best of both worlds, being able to enjoy the outdoors and also, you know, plan a little vacation, pamper yourself, take your kids, take your family, or 
you know, we get a lot of people that are up here enjoying a business trip and uh, need some time to decompress either on the golf course or spending a half day on the water and a full day on the water and really enjoying what Ottawa has to offer. Using an expert guide like Jamie to fish a waterway as vast as the Ottawa River is a no-brainer. I'll look after everybody. I got all the gear, all the equipment. They just have to bring a camera and a positive attitude and we'll get them on the fish. You know, at the end of the day with this fishery, it's not so much the catch as it is the action. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at them all in here. Pete, oh, yeah. look at them oh. all in here. Yeah. Wow, we found a mother load. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one, two there. Oh, this is crazy. Talk about sight fishing. This is out of sight, man. I like to cast a little bit past the fish and bring your bait right in front of their nose. You have to be right on their nose. Yeah. You have to be right beside them and they're not coming over for it. He's on it. He's on it. No, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he took a snap at it. He didn't like it. Like, they don't know until it's right on them. You gotta be kidding me. There he goes, there he goes. Come on, baby, come on. And watching him chase your bait is just, man. Talk about an adrenaline rush. <laughs> He's interested. Okay. Mayhem on the Ottawa. Garpike mayhem. Look at the tail. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Very cool. What a great looking fish they are, eh? You look like you're releasing a javelin, Ange. <laughs> oh. There's something about this that makes it more of a hunt than a fish because oh, you're not just casting randomly, you're casting at a particular fish that you see so it, it's a, a, the dynamics are totally different but it's a blast it's an absolute riot absolute riot Whoa. <laughs> you don't have the little the treble hook in yeah it. no no it's hanging down below see, it's, it's wrapped around and maybe the line has caught itself or something i'll bet you these gar pike by the way like nobody fishes for them for whatever reason i don't know other than the fact that really nobody knows a whole lot about them but uh, they've been around for obviously millions of years. They're almost prehistoric. Them the sturgeon, isn't it? Our two uh, oldest yep. fish? Yeah. In Canada? Yeah. I'll tell you what, the, this is the first trip of me, for, for me to target these things, and it will not be my last. Nice. Underneath? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a rip. They're not that tough. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Something damaged him. Probably so they are, they are fallible. Yeah. What an awesome looking, weird looking, crazy cool looking fish. You can see those teeth. Whoa. Hundreds of teeth. That's a shredder. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> what a Soft great fish. Soft single cast to him. Here, buddy, I'll just drop you straight down. A little bit of scum off him. There he goes. When you look at the pure sports fishing aspect of it, these are some of the most exciting and wonderful fish to catch. Especially when you're out sight fishing, People are at least seeing their target and their casting and uh, having lots of action. Oh yeah, there he is, yeah. Oh boy. Wow. This sight fishing is unbelievable. You know, whether you're into bass or pike or in our case here, uh, gar, you're making contact, visual contact with the fish before you even put the bait out to them. It is so exciting. It's unbelievable. What's more unbelievable is that it's taken us this long to set our sights on these prehistoric fish. <laughs> There you go. I'm already looking forward to yep. the next time. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what a great fish. I think they're one of the uh, most underrated game fish we have in our waters, and we're truly blessed that after a million years, they're still here. There he goes. Today's hotspot is in Shirley's Bay. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. This bay loads up with gar of all sizes, with some real monsters included. But be careful, the entrance to this bay is strewn with lots of boulders. Also, be cognizant of the fact 
that at the back of the bay is a Canadian military firing range. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin Panoptics, all seeing sonar. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning for this episode was brought to you by fishingcanada.com the gateway to your next fishing adventure.